I've said it before and I will say it again. The PLE cards are some of the best designed cards in Supercard. Full stop. And that doesn't change with this month's payback cards. And ooh, good golly, Miss Molly. This is something special. Payback, Becky Lynch and Rey Mysterio. And we're going to be picking up one of these cards right now. But I want to know in the comments down below if you had to pick either of these two cards, Becky or Rey, let me know which one you would pick in the comments down below. And if you include the special word in the comments section, then I might just give you a heart for doing so. It'll be hidden somewhere. But we're also going to pick up a pro on behalf of the leader of the team that I'm in. So let's get started. Becky Lynch, beautiful card. But the most important part about this is the background image. Not only is it beautiful half tone, and I love this. It gives me something to use my super coins on as well, but it's the background that really drew me towards this. PLE premium live event card. Lock that son of a gun in. The man of Becky Lynch is in town. But the card has a secret, and this is the reason I got it. The background image changes. Don't get me wrong, this image of Becky is fantastic. But I've got others that I would like to use as well. Starting off with this one. That goes perfectly. That's a Hall of Fame. Damn. I'm just going to say this now. If this is the reason why Seth chose her, I don't blame him. But there's plenty of other. That looks great as well. The background changes with each image you have. Is this image finally going to have? Oh, you know what? That isn't too bad. Finally, we have a card type that uses this image well. We've got Last Man Standing a long time. Was this Last Man Standing or was it Code Breaker? I'm not sure. It, it just blends a bit too much into the red. I think I'm going to go with this. Yep. I dig it. On the subject of digging it, you want to make sure you go over to WWESupercard.com and get your daily streak for today. If you haven't done so, if you're thinking daily what? Well, go check out the last video when you're done with this one. It explains everything. The only thing that bothers me and makes me not want to pick these cards up, though, are the stats. The stats are not as good as the other cards. I'll show you, but that is one beefy charisma stat. We're now switching over to my team leader Beastie's account to get the pro. This is a pro Becky Lynch. He has asked me to get, so that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna lock it in. Now she's done, ready to go. Let's check out that animation. I'm gonna let Beastie decide what image he goes for. But I've been told it's tasty and Ah, uh, you know what? You know, this reminds me, this reminds me of the extreme cards mixed with the Royal Rumble. There's a Royal Rumble set of cards, I can't remember, but overall this just looks goddamn good. Should you get it? Well, that's down to you. I personally would wait, unless you've got an excess of super coins, I would wait until the new tier drops. It might be worth you taking a miss on these and taking advantage of the next set of cards dropping in about a month. It'll be about two weeks into whatever the new tier is going to be. Full stats right here. There we go. So she is looking a bit better than the regular ladies that you'd see in the in the tier. I mean, compared to Michin, who has got equipment attached, she's still pretty good. It's still worth your time going if you don't have an abundance of ladies in your deck. But if you're quite healthy there, then honestly, you could give this one a miss. That's just what I think, though. You may have a different idea, especially when there is a better one, a much better, more healthier one in Rhea Ripley. Mami is the last man standing card, and I need to know from you. It's been a long time since I last made a last man standing guide video, and I've done one for Clash of Champions, for Code Breaker, but we haven't done one for last man standing. Do you want to see that? An updated version that gives you better of tips and tricks compared to the last one which is like three seasons ago if you want that then let me know by smacking the like button it takes two seconds of your time plus it lets me know you want it it'll be for free to play and pay to play players as well another reason you're probably tuning in is the fast lane mode now this is a well it's a typical cat daddy move now i mean that not in a nasty way i mean that in they released some really good things and i'm gonna praise them here oh my god don't kill me but packs like for example the five time having guaranteed cards not for as much in terms of credits but with decent odds as well don't get me wrong the way they've done the collectible event i'm not particularly thrilled with and i hope it improves but you see a bit of good with WWE Supercard, and then you get something like this, which is just 
Oh, it's frustrating. Now, I've already done this once and it cost me 5,500 credit. That's how much this mode costs you. Once you've got the cards, you can't even go for them again. You can only earn them once or get a pro if you make it all the way through the mode. If you want my honest opinion, the worst bit you're about to see, because not only are we going to play the mode, and I don't recommend you do this, by the way. The, the content is out of date as it is. We're on to Booker T and Icon cards now. And the rewards are base cards and summer cards that we've been away from for like, what, three weeks now? Why you're doing a interactive pack mode that is 5,500 credits, which by the way, if you're not buying through some of that Android at the moment, through Google Play, or there's a discount, or you're doing it through the web store, costs you... Well, you're going to have to spend out £46, $50 to get this. It depends on your currency. It's a lot just for one go. Yes, you get a guaranteed single or potentially pro from this of this tier, but the cards just are not worth it. I could open up the five times packs and probably get a book of tea once or twice for the same it would cost to do one and a half of these fast lanes. But the absolute worst bit about this mode is not the 5,500. No, it happens when you go into it. And then to get a specific superstar, you have to spend 1,000 extra credits. Excuse me, what? So if I want to choose a very specific superstar, I have to pay you 1,000 extra credits. So basically I've used that whole 50, 45 pounds up. Gee, thanks. I mean, I wish I'd known about this, like an extra 100 or 200 maybe, but a thousand credits. Listen, I'm not doing this for a base card, simple as. I'm gonna do this for a card that I actually need, which will get me an F3, which is Axiom. And then the other two you have to pick are completely random off the board. You have to just pick a card, you got LA Knight, yeah, of course. And Machine Gun, Carl Anderson. And you don't get all three, by the way. You only get one, which you choose at the end. You choose your route. So I'm going to go Toughest or Charisma on the left-hand side. And we're going to go with Carl Anderson. And basically, you just have to beat the cards. Really, it's, it's that simple. But if you lose once, that's it, game over. You still get one of your cards. Those, those cards are, are safe. But the problem is that you don't know how tough these cards are. They could be anything from a WrestleMania 38 all the way up to a SummerSlam and you could be putting in the wrong card at the wrong time. There we go, we've got an extinction card. The only other slight benefit here is that the tougher the card you face, the more the card you get gets leveled up. So you don't have to worry about food, but then again, the food would come in other interactive modes from the undercard you get. So if I'm spending 6,500 credits, I'm expecting this card to be delivered by hand on my front doorstep with a nice little ribbon around it with you on one knee saying, please, sir, please take my card. The goal to ask for such a thing, it's, it's wild. Maybe it's just a test to see who would actually go for it. And maybe I'm the sucker who did it. I'm just doing this so you guys get to see how terrible this mode is. So we've got another extinction based card and we got charisma down. Okay, so we're losing a lot of charisma here. It, it really is RNG when you get to a certain point. Toughest and speed, I could go one or two ways. I'm gonna go LA Knight. It doesn't do dual stats, I'm pretty sure. So that's one thing at least that is, you know, a positive. Toughest and speed again. And we're gonna go, we'll go Carl Anderson. See what I mean? Now, now we're we gonna see if that was toughness, I could have lost there quite easily. But now I know not to go for a speed card on, on Carl Anderson, because I'm losing <laughs> power and speed, okay? Let's go LA Knight. Power or speed, okay? Again. We were so close, two million stats away, and it should not be this difficult to get a card like this. So let's go for the top one. We got power and speed. Okay, I'm gonna go. We're now getting, we're now getting oost. Dude, his new theme though, Jay Uso's new theme is amazing. But this fast lane is not something I wanna be touching anytime in the future, okay? We're gonna be going straight to oof, power and toughness. I hope this is easier. This one is easier. It's still taking out a little bit of damage, so I'm not, Totally happy, but you know, I'm guessing when we get to this part, it's gonna be like summer stand cards because we haven't had those come up yet. I'm not gonna chance it. I'm gonna go with Axiom. There we go, exactly what I expected. Now this next one is a complete crapshoot because this is where we get to RNG and it's just not fun. So toughness, okay, we managed to get past this one, but my best card is now 
It's gone. Bye bye. See you later. Need toughness? Ah, speed. See, I told you. We got to the end and we don't even get a second opportunity. It just gone. So you get to choose whatever card you want out of these. So if you got one particularly that's a pro or not, then and I'm going to choose Axiom because he's the fortify I need. But well, that's a strict avoid. And it just brings me back to my point beforehand. This is such a cat daddy thing to do. So much good. And then they drop this and it's yeah. It's a stinker. As always, I welcome your thoughts in the comments down below. And you know what? Just leave a like for every credit I've wasted. That might make me feel slightly better about this pack. But anyway, I've been JB. You have been awesome. Good luck in Last Man Standing. I'm counting on you to get yourself a good reward. And I hope to see you guys very soon. Peace out.